Hi, everybody. Hope your weekend was a good one. And I'm Ted Jordan, the author of The Restorer, The Power of Deception. Please go to the website to purchase the book by way of email and email. Why do I always say email? Ebook and printed book. The website is the restorer, the power of deception.com. It's the restorer, the power of deception.com. You can reach me by way of email, Jordan at the restorer, the power of deception.com. All right, let's get to it. Now, today we're going to be talking about and continuing on with who is the mother, the, who is the Muslim Brotherhood? How do they operate? We're going to be talking about this probably for most of, if not all, this week because it is essential to the book. Why? Because the apparatus comes out of the Muslim Brotherhood from a fictional standpoint. So the Muslim Brotherhood is a real organization. It's a real group. It started at 1929, and it is in existence today. And it started off in Cairo, Egypt, as is historical headquarters, according to Wikipedia and other sources that I've gotten over time in reference to this very subject. So I'm not pulling things out of thin air. You can go online and check out things for yourself. Now, again, the Muslim Brotherhood, um, who are they? Why do they do what they do? This is These are the subjects that we're going to be going over and talking about. And so today, it's part two of who is the Muslim Brotherhood. So the Muslim Brotherhood really uh, started off kind of like the Costa Nostra, you know, the, the mafia. Good intentions, meaning that they wanted to help their people. They wanted to propel um, forward their people and protect their people and do a lot of good work in the community to make sure their people were thriving. Nothing wrong with that on the surface. Nothing wrong with that at all. But when men get their sticky fingers in things and decide that they're going to do things for themselves and only for themselves, and I say men in particular because Islam is a religion that really promotes more men and be more about men than it is about women and anybody else. It's all about the guys. <laughs> so, you know, what guy wouldn't want to have multiple wives? What guy wouldn't want to have, you know, uh, all the... Uh, you know, the rules stacked in their favor and the women have very little to say about it. Um, again, do the research for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. So today, why are they considered such a threat to other nations around the country? Well, here's the problem. When they um, started off, again, when they started off, because I don't want to get ahead of myself, when they started off, again, good intentions. They wanted to help their people. How? Uh, again, through uh, being more organized, um, being uh, helpful in their community by way of building hospitals, pharmacies, and um, helping and, and schools. They also wanted to protect the workers from foreign companies who wanted to try to take advantage of them. Again, nothing wrong with any of those things. As a matter of fact, a lot of those things are quite admirable. And if you do the study, Islam and Christianity have a lot in common. The only thing that's wrong is that they're worshiping a false God and that we have the true and living God through Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, the one who came in the form of a baby to ultimately die for the sins of all mankind. That's huge. Huge, 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 because they don't know for sure they're going to go to heaven when they die. The Muslims I'm speaking of. And I've heard people who've come out of Islam, who've done interviews and so on and so forth. They don't know for sure. But again, um, it's, it's a whole lot to unpack here. So again, the problem with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, in my humble yet accurate opinion, is that it eventually wants to take over wherever they land, whether it's in the United States, whether it's in uh, wherever they are, uh, Cairo, Egypt, in the Middle East, anywhere they go. Uh, and you again, go do your research because anytime you have Islamic people coming in or Muslims coming in, they usually take over. They want to do things their way according to um, Islam. 
and they use jihad to do it. What does jihad mean? It means to war against non-Christians. That's you and I. They war against non-Christians through jihad and want to establish Islam wherever they go. Now, again, you do your research on Sharia law, which I've done a vlog on. You do all the research in reference to, you know, what their ultimate goal is. And as I do more and more of these in reference to this particular subject, you'll find out why certain countries have banned the Muslim Brotherhood, why they've done it. Uh, there's always a reason why. Don't just listen to the evening news and hope that they give you all the answers because they won't. Again, my name is Ted Jordan. I'm the author of The Restorer, thepowerofdeception.com. You can go to the website, The Restorer, thepowerofdeception.com and purchase the book, The Restorer, The Power of Deception through ebook or printed book. You can also like this channel. Please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about the channel and uh, get ready because the Restorer of the Power of Deception is coming to screens near you probably in the next year or so because we're in development of the feature film. Now you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Again, my name is Ted Jordan the author of The Restorer, The Power of Deception.com. You can email me, Jordan, at The Restorer, The Power of Deception.com. That's J O R D A N at The Restorer, The Power of Deception.com. One more time for the website. If you want to purchase the book, we appreciate the support. It's The Restorer, The Power of Deception.com. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and we'll talk again soon.